In this video, we're going to talk about specific terms in IGB2 and how to find them. Uh, so if you go up to the top left Navigate Terms window, uh, and we're going to expand this by clicking on the white boxes here, uh, we can see that these are organized in an ontology in a logical way. Uh, and as you click into the folders, the concepts become more and more specific until you get down to the very basic concepts. And these are very extensive, depending on which folder you're in. Um, and so if you're looking for an item and you can't, you don't know exactly where you might find it, uh, you can use the find feature. And so we can search by names, uh, which is any sort of uh, string variables, or by coding systems. And so we'll first search by name. And if we search diabetes, it's going to give us any concept that has diabetes in it. And so that's the hospital at diabetes clinic, uh, all the different types of diabetes with um, their variations. And it's going to give us all the top folders and each of the subfolders as well. So we can see this, uh, we can see diabetes at every level of, of searchability. And so you can see as we click into these, we find the more specific current terms. We can also search by a coding system. So if we know the ICD-9 code for diabetes is 250, we can search for that, and there's the term. And it's going to give us the actual um, base term. Uh, and you may be searching for something by a name, uh, because you know you code for it, but you, you can't quite find it in I2B2. Uh, I would suggest searching by a coding system, whether that's a, a SNOMAD, a VOINC, an ICD-9 code. Uh, because likely it's hidden under a synonym in I2B2, uh, and you'll find it that way.